What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Charleston White had the opportunity to debate two OnlyFans models. I don't know how it happened. I don't know why it happened, but he did. And it was quite interesting. And Charleston White, he gives, you know, some good gems here and there. But a lot of the OnlyFans models out there, a lot of women who are doing whatever they want online, and it's their complete prerogative for them to do so. They don't really understand how the other side sees them. And that's one of the things I noticed that's a big problem with women is that they largely see things from their own vantage point, discounting or not even caring about how other people see their vantage point. Men, I feel, are a lot more self-aware. We're much aware of how the opposite sex sees us, okay? And we really try to make efforts to care about it. Like if we are not doing well, we're broke, uh, we're fat, we're dusty. Hey, we gotta do something to fix that, okay? Cause we're more interested in getting chosen by a woman of our choice. Women believe that they are the prize for the most part, and that men should come in, chase them, and how they are is perfect and you know, that's it. And that's the mentality that they have, unfortunately. Not every woman, but a lot of women, right? Men are like, oh shoot, man, we, you know, we, we got our hair cut, man, we out here looking dusty. Bruh, like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't got no money right now. But then there's Charleston White, the great equalizer. Let's see what he has to say. I don't, I've never there done you, cocaine in my life. I seen the white stuff on your nose. <laughs> what white stuff? I, when we you mad because I said you farted uh -huh. and you're gonna lie and say I did cocaine, okay? Oh, you lied and said I farted. So I lied and said you did cocaine. Same okay. thing. Okay, you take fair, fair enough. Fair enough. See, fair enough. she lied and said he I farted. Fart. That's what he I'm didn't saying. Fart. Her ass was farting, shaking her ass in front of that white boy. Ass <laughs> just loose as it can be. Oh, pfft, every time she shake it. Who can do that on call? What dog can shit when you say shit? You was farting on call. I had he guess. said, dude, that's I what I'm tacos. saying. And she doing this on camera and want to think she can get some man, money getting girls don't even tacos, behave like so. y'all. Money getting girls, this is the low grade money getting girls. They barely getting. I got money. They barely getting. I Coming on money. her talking to a money getting nigga like they really get money. Man, I know the man, I know money, I'm money. But you're a snitch. I ain't no snitch. It's but fair. I will snitch if I was breaking law. You're a snitch. I ain't no hold over. You got I will your clout off of snitching. No, I got my clout so off coming on line talking. I got my clout off coming on line. If I got my clout off clapping my natural ass, and you got your clout off snitching. You ain't got no clout. Got no clout. You, ain't got no clout. You, ain't, you stand. Who, who, you who's stand, better than you who? You standing in line on 20 verses more. In the streets where you snitch, you ain't no real. I ain't no real. I'm a father who's never been to jail you on his snitching. kids. You snitching. You snitching. snitching on, you will snitch on your own kids. I'm not, I, ain't, I will. You goddamn right I will. Exactly you goddamn so. right I snitch on my own son, but I ain't going to show my hole of my asshole of my hole to get no money. And I hope my daughter don't either because she graduated this year at 15 and her daddy bought her a car. She ain't got to go finish no man for it. Daddy here. Daddy been here since day one. Okay, big ups to the snitches. You got that I'm right. Make that ass go to get quiet. To we go to, we go, yeah, big up to the fathers and girls that got to show they pussy hole to try to get some money on OnlyFans. Big up to you hoes. Big up to you fathers and girls that probably been molested oh, and f***ed in the ass by one of them perverted uncles. That's oh, why you so sexual. Ever. That's why you so promiscuous. No. Yeah, oh, hide behind, that. behind that mother. Been you don't even know him. No, I don't been knowing nothing. I'm just throwing rocks, and if it hit you, holler. If the shoe fit wet, if it don't, I let mean, it quit. This... If the glove don't fit, don't. yeah, I'm just saying some shit like y'all saying some shit. Ain't we having fun to make content? But I hope my beautiful little daughter don't have to get naked to show up hole to lay on her back just to try to get on her feet as a woman, and you still can't get on your feet. I hope not either. Don't ever have to I do what y'all about to do. You know, and I hope tables, the rest of the young girl. I, do, I hope the rest of the young girl that watching this, you can learn how to create content without burning your pussy to the world. Trying to sell your body to me right here, touching on me like that shit, turn me on. Man, I bypass girls like y'all every day. I was touching that, you. Man, this mother <laughs> was. But you talking that kind of talk like you really that man. Y'all ain't no real y'all playing. So guys, I want you to listen to that okay did you hear that and the reason why i'm talking about this is because it was harsh and of course i wouldn't be there brutalizing uh the young ladies but the thing about it is that 
A lot of these women feel like, well, I got money, I'm doing well, I'm okay with how I am. And the guys that they really want them to take seriously, they're not interested in that. Like, you, you see a lot of OnlyFans models always trying to expose athletes, getting upset with athletes, getting upset with men, calling them F-boys. And the whole time you're, you're sitting back thinking like, okay, well, if he likes you, I mean, it's not cool, that's something that's bad, but like, did you expect that you were gonna get, you know, guys who were on another level did you did you expect that you know you were going to bring so much to the table that was that was different you do have women that bring a lot to the table for sure and so when you look at these people that feel like they're special well outside of you know you looking the way you look what utility would you have like to the other sex like do you actually think about what the other person wants and the more that i talk to ladies it's a matter of where you are in the world the more I understand that a lot of women are just not interested in, in how men see the world. It's just something that they could care less about. It's something that they care less, they care less about. Um, they don't care. It's not important. And the only thing that matters is how they see the world. Let me just say, like, being in my YouTube career, when I first came to YouTube and social media content creation, I wanted to make content the way that I wanted to make it. I found out real quick in order to survive, and this is a business, it has to be about what other people want. Life is always about what somebody else wants and can you provide that? Apple is in business now because Apple is concerned about what the user wants. Now women like these want to secure relationships with successful men. They want to secure uh, benefits with successful men. But do you know what I found out? That oftentimes these are the women who are not concerned with what they can do to improve themselves in the market. You know, they wanna do whatever they wanna do and expect that somebody should accept the bare minimum. And the more money a guy has, the less that's true. You know, and um, they end up dealing with guys that are trash and then they try to, you know, blame all men for it. And that's thinking process. Now, obviously, Charleston White, he gonna go out there and, and say it like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. Successful men, don't even, don't even waste your time talking to them about how they are. Don't even do it. In today's world, there are so many opportunities. You know, I, I shout out to Ronan the Traveler. I've been watching that brother, Passport Bro Guys. Listen, man, you don't even have to put up with anything that you don't want to at all. It doesn't even make any sense right now. You don't have to deal with anything that you don't want to. You don't have to tell a woman about themselves. One time I, I was talking to Brother George, right? So Shay, what man you need to understand is, you don't need to tell her anything about who she is and what kind of person she is. You don't have to yell or all of that and be upset. If you're a successful guy, just get rid of her. Even if you're not, just get ready for your success. Get rid of them. You don't have to tell them anything. Why you know where their life is gonna head acting in that way. If you see a guy on the street and he's living a certain lifestyle, you know where his life is headed. The same thing when you see some of these ladies and they have a disrespectful attitude towards you for no reason or whatever the case is, you know where they're at, where, they're, where their life is gonna, is gonna lead to. You don't need to tell them nothing because it's not gonna help you. Get rid of them now. Continue building your life as a man. Stop talking to them. Now, if Charleston White wanna do it, that's fine. But me, I wouldn't even waste my time. A lot of guys are wasting their time talking to women about, about who, how they are, what they do. They'll find out, they'll figure it out. Okay? It's not your job to tell them. Either they want to do it or they don't. If they don't want to do it, you get rid of them. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Richard Farley, you do. Celebrity Bell, we're out.